everyone really can enjoy chestnuts. And you want to score these from one end of the rounded side all the way. Throw them in a 400 degree oven, which what should happen, just really the moisture from the chestnut as it roasts, will steam them and you'll see that the flesh is actually going to separate and the, the shell will separate a little bit too. Take your sweet potatoes and puncture them with the tines of a fork, put them on a sheet pan, throw them in a 400 degree oven, and in about an hour, you'll get some of that caramelization smell. so much want to caramelize the onions as we just really want to get them nice and soft and maybe a little bit golden. Our chestnuts, sometimes both the outside shell and the husk come off together, but more typically you have to peel that separately. They'll give that nice flavor, but chestnuts also have another purpose. They're gonna help thicken our soup for us. And then a good healthy dose of brandy. If you have a gas stove, you might want to pull it off the heat when you do that and not lean directly over the stove unless you like to sear your eyebrows. And then you can return to the heat. And let that cook for a minute or two just to cook off some of the alcohol. You want to cover basically just enough chicken broth to keep everything moist. Uh, and you can throw in a bay leaf. You want your sweet potatoes to dissolve into this broth. Ladle this into a blender, probably about three quarters of the way full. One thing to keep in mind when you put a hot liquid into a blender and you turn it on, it, it can become explosive. And so you want to turn it on slowly and usually you want to put like a towel over the top of it or just wait for it to cool down. Well, once you've pureed all your soup, then you want to return it to heat and we're going to taste it for seasoning, but we're also going to add in just a little bit of creme fraiche or you could use heavy cream. Uh, creme fraiche has a little tanginess to it, which I think is nice, sort of helps to wake flavors up a little bit. If you're really concerned about the amount of fat in your diet, you could leave it out, but just a little bit, I think helps to round out the flavors, helps to carry the flavors a little bit longer. We're only using like a, a couple tablespoons um, for this whole batch, which is, you know, eight, you can easily get eight portions out of this and get more of the richness and texture of the soup from the sweet potatoes and the, the chestnuts themselves. Nice. We'll just bring that up to a simmer. You don't want to boil it once you do add your cream in. Julianne, they made sweet potato and chestnut soup. It's got brandy in it and a little bit of creme fraiche. And I think it's, it'll be wonderful with a glass of your Chardonnay Reserve. Great. Beautiful presentation, too. Thank you. I think the uh, brandy adds a little caramely characteristic to it. It goes very well with the texture of the wine being very rich, also very concentrated and succulent. Just like the soup, it's, it's a beautiful combination. I think the Chardonnay Reserve having the richness and texture will lend itself well to a lot of the dishes that people put on their table when, when they're entertaining. When you have different dishes with a wine, you sort of see different facets of it. And what I like about it is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting the richness and the, the texture of the wine stands up to that. But also the sweet potatoes, I think, for me at least, uh, sort of brings up more of the lemony components in the wine. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and also amplifies the brightness of the fruit and the acidity in the wine. All the fruit comes from the cool climate in Carneros. We harvest it at night. Uh, we whole cluster press it. And uh, it's just the freshest, purest uh, juice from the fruit. It's got a little more body to it, so I think it, you know, it's sort of you're pushing it as far as the wine food pairings is just a little bit further to almost where you're getting close to, you know, red wine territory. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays. <laughs>